In this video, we will look at the exponent 0 and how we can use it to simplify expressions. To begin investigating 0, we will consider the expression a cubed over a cubed. a cubed in the numerator means we are multiplying 3 a's. Same in the denominator, a times a times a. Notice as we simplify and divide out the a's, there are no a's left. However, we recall that when everything divides out, there's always a 1 left over in the numerator and denominator. This means our expression simplifies to 1 over 1, or just 1. However, we could have also simplified it, a cubed over a cubed, using the quotient rule, where we subtracted the exponents. a to the 3 minus 3, is a to the 0. Simplifying two different ways, we got a to the 0 for one answer, and 1 for the other answer. This must mean a to the 0 and 1 are, in fact, equal to each other. This is the zero power rule. Any number, any variable, any expression to the zero power will always equal 1. A to the 0 simply means that all the a's have divided out, leaving a 1 behind. Let's take a look at an expression where we can see this work out. Here we have 5x cubed y z to the 5th, all to the 0 power. Because everything is to the 0 power, that means everything is going to divide out, leaving us with a solution of 1. We could have done this problem by using the, po the power rules first and distributing or putting that 0 onto each factor. That would give us 5 to the 0, x to the 3 times 0, which is 0, y to the 0, z to the 5 times 0, which is 0. Again, Anything to the 0 power is 1, because 5 to the 0 means the 5's divide out, x to the 0 means the x's divide out, y to the 0 means the y's divide out, z to the 0 means the z's divide out, and all we're left with is 1 times 1 times 1 times 1, which also gives us the answer of 1. Let's look at another expression that uses a variable to the 0 power. In this problem, the 0 exponents are only on the y and the x. Each of those will simplify simply to 1. Now, looking at the numbers, we have 3 times 1 times 5 times 1 is 15. We also have an x squared and a y to the 4th, and this becomes our simplified solution. Zero exponents simply mean that everything divides out, and all that left is a 1. 